quote unquote being a bribe. I'm like not that into it. I fell. Hey guys, Christiana here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another get ready with me. If you're interested in this look, definitely tune in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. I also am gonna take you to Broadway tonight. I am seeing Anne Juliet with a really close girlfriend. So I'm gonna take you along to our night out. I think you guys are gonna meet my friend, Selena. We have our little group, the two of us, that we call the Broadway Association Group. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> We, we love shows, we love theater. Like at least once a month, we go and see shows. So this is another get ready with me, obviously, but I have a couple of new products to try, see what the latest and greatest are, what's new on the market. And I am a makeup junkie. Glow ups, transformations, catfishes. I'm gonna be trying out the new Makeup by Mario foundation. It's a real skin foundation. It's a complexion masterpiece. You put his heart into it and it's groundbreaking formula. Yeah, it's awakening the true infinite beauty that lies within. That's a lot to say for a little bottle. Also, I'm gonna be trying out the new Pillow Talk Crystal Dimension Eyeliner. We're gonna be doing all of that. I'm gonna chit chat, but first I'm going to put in my Lexi hair and then I'm gonna do a little magic wand day. Let me do my hair. And then I will come back to you. Face is primed, hence the shininess. So I'm gonna just go in with this in the color 11N. I like to make sure I'm maximizing the product by just getting it on my face first and then going in with a brush or a sponge. Today, I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender. I always clean my beauty blender too before I use it because germs don't need to be on my face. So tonight we're gonna go see the new, I guess it's new, yeah, new-ish, it's new. New Play and Juliet, and it is a spin-off of Romeo and Juliet, if you couldn't guess by the title. And it's kind of like if, I think if like Juliet didn't, what she would have done with her life because we don't need no man. We also saw the musical Six, which is hysterical, but it's, you know, that kind of punchy, concerty type of performance that I think is so popular right now. I did use this foundation yesterday and I kind of wanted to do a little wear test before putting it on here in front of you so I could like give you my review of how I had it. And I actually might like this more than my Armani Luminous Silk. It's the same kind of coverage as the Luminous Silk. I would say that the Mario one has like a hint. I'm picking my nose on camera. The Armani Luminous Silk has a Tint less coverage than the Mario one. But I will say the way that the Mario one sits on the skin as the hours go on is a little bit nicer. Uh, other news, I am going to Paris with my mom in May. I am so excited. It's kind of like our last girls trip before I get married. I haven't been on a solo trip with my mom in I don't even know how long. I'm going to set this first and then do my eye makeup. I feel like I should be a spokesperson for Charlotte Tilbury, but I love the new airbrush one. I am getting married this year and I feel like I it feels like imposter syndrome. I hope I'm using that term correctly. I'll put up the definition here, but it's just like hasn't hit me at all that I am getting married at all. It's funny too because 
I was thinking back to before I met Beyonce. I used to look at like wedding websites, dresses, rings all the time before I even got engaged, before I even met the love of my life. I hate that term. Before I did all of that. And since planning a wedding, I have not even looked at brides.com. I haven't bought a single wedding magazine. I always thought I was gonna be that girl that had like a stack of content. Like I could give a rat's behind about any of that stuff anymore. It's just like wild to me like how that has changed so drastically. I really don't know what's going on with me, why I'm acting this way. I'm really excited for that day quote unquote being a bride like I'm like not that into it with everything going on in the world it just feels like stupid for me get giddy about spending a ton of money why do I feel guilty just sometimes I don't even feel like I deserve it and maybe that's why I haven't been looking at these wedding things like I used to because I just Maybe when I was looking before, I never really thought it would happen for me. I don't know, I'm really excited, but honestly, I'm more excited to have kids. I never talked about this online, but I did freeze my eggs when I was 29, and I was thinking about making a video about my decision and process of how I did it and like the cost and everything, but I, I just didn't have enough footage of me actually doing the process, so I didn't feel like it would be that interesting of a video to show because I've seen a lot of other videos, especially when I was going through the process. I really love the vlogs that Hannah Bronfman put out. Every experience is very different. I'd be happy to share. This is gorgeous. I'm getting it in my eye though. I thought we were done with ghosting. Like, is ghosting still a thing with people? I hope not. I feel like we've all grown, right? I feel like we've all grown up, but I don't know. I was ghosted by what I thought was one of my dearest, closest friends. One day, she just stopped responding to my messages. And at first, I don't know why I'm talking about this here, but it's been on my mind, especially in the new year. And I, I have a lot of thoughts about it and I didn't know if anyone else has experienced this before. I think it hurts more when a girlfriend ghosts you and I've spoken to my other friends about this. They've had similar situations too. Maybe not like to the extent of what happened to me. I just, I feel like we're adults. Like if you have a problem and if you value anything in a relationship, I feel like you can have the balls to say, look, I love you, but this is just not gonna work for me anymore. Instead of just not responding. That is like, I think the most hurtful thing you can do to somebody. This happened to me a long, like now it's been like two years and it still stings. Like, the only closure I can have is just having a freaking brilliant life. Like, it's just very sad. I hope one day that I can have that final chat, but until then, I am stuck like this. A finished look, I just whacked myself with a lot of setting spray. I used the Fenty lip gloss, and I need to run because I am officially late. Uh, oh, I'll show you my full outfit too. And, oh, I got this really cool new pink jacket, so I'm gonna show that to you as well. On, I have my Nikes on, and I got this dress from Skims. And then the necklace is from Zara. And then I got this amazing big puffer coat, which I'm gonna show in a different try-on haul from a store called Finesse, and I'm obsessed with it.
just got home from the evening and I had so much fun but I fell. These skims dresses I showed in another vlog. They are socks. There is no slit so you're moving like this in the dress. You cannot have elongated strides. I was in sneakers. I was in sneakers and I fell on the side of the street into a bike lane. Um, I broke a lot of nails and got scuffed up pretty bad. This nail here I think is going to fall off completely. That has never happened to me before. I've never even Dang. fallen in the city before. I lived there for 12 years. It's really, really crazy for me and all of my hands are just throbbing right now. Nothing else on me was injured. I did fall on my knees, but my knees feel fine. They're not scraped up, they're not bloody at all. I just took all the force to my hands and my nails. And the irony is I have a nail appointment tomorrow. So I'm just gonna tell Momo to just like leave this finger out of the equation with my design and hopefully she can help with all of these other ones. But I just, I, I can't even believe this happened, but I am just not surprised. Anytime I'm having a really good time, I just kind of am in the moment and not really paying attention to things I probably should be paying attention to. <sighs> it's a humbling experience. I think it will take me six months to grow this nail back, which will be just in time for our wedding. <laughs> um, anywho, that is the end of this vlog. We had a little get ready with me. We had a little Broadway time, entertainment. I had a wonderful night with you guys. See and Juliet, that was a fantastic show and the music was amazing. I love the whole message of the show, inclusivity, everything. Brilliant work and the songs were so fun. I love a Celine Dion moment and it was there for me. The voices, oh my gosh, the woman who played Juliet was phenomenal. Oh, I have a feeling it's gonna blow up. I have a feeling in like three months from now, this show is gonna be like the hottest ticket in town, for real. So. I leave you with that. I love you to bits and I will see you next week.